Yeah, oh, this is my welcome by you, uh, and I'm doing the continuation on um, Net SNMP. All right, so this is on uh, the version three format of Net SNMP um, CLI format, right? So, how do I um, run Net SNMP or SNMP get or walk in version three on CLI? It looks complicated. You know, with all the authorization and all that there. Well, here's, here are two things you need to remember. Um, SNMP version one and two only uses community strings and have other things that were included in it, like to give it futures. SNMP version three was created mainly for them to provide authentication and encryption. Now, that's the only two things we are in adding to our configuration. So it's still basically the same thing. We're just going to add the um, um, other user. You have a username to authenticate, and we also have to specify the um, um, cipher key for symmetric encryption. That's it. All right, um, let's jump into it. Cool. So first of all, I need to check my switch to see what I have configured. All right, so I see that I do have a group configured here. Um, group one, I like that, and because this what is group one version three, and is using priv or priv, which is actually authentication and privacy or encryption. Um, so I can use that. I can also use Myowa, which is configured the same. Um, okay. Question is though. Where are my user information? Ooh. All right, now, don't don't fret. In Cisco, um, if you want to find out the user information, it's really not made available in your um, config. You actually have to type in the show uh, SNMP user to get your information. You can use modifiers if you want, but I'm not bothered about that right now. So for the users, I'm actually having M1 as a user um, and is using AES128 and is using SHA encryption. Um, or show, sorry, SHA authentication, AES encryption. And is using a group named Mayowa1. Well, I actually would prefer my, the group one instead of the group Mayowa. And I'll prefer to use this M2. Reasons because the password I used actually is longer <laughs> um, in um, M2 than M1. And I do notice that some Linux machines uh, do have a problem with that. Now, some me browsers do not have a problem. They do not check or enforce that your password length is meets the required standard uh, standard. But um, the Linux machines are um, hard coded to check for that. So that's why I'm going to use M2 instead of M1 or U, U, or U1. All those other passwords are small and can be used for me browsers. Let's go ahead and, and get this started. So what you want to do is go through the same. You know what? Let's 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 clear first. Let's have a clear screen. All right. So SNMP get still the same thing. Remember, it was just authentication and privacy. So I'm going to make a list here. I'm going to type it, SNMP get. What's the first thing I need to specify? Always it is the uh, version, not the help, <laughs> but the version of code. I want to use version three, that's dash V3, which is what I type. Next, I want to use version three, right? Uh, this SNMP version one and two community does not does not involve me. It has nothing to do with my configuration. So I have to just skip that, go to the next one, which is SNMP version three specific switches I need to use. So I need to type in dash A to specify the authentication protocol. All right, so let's do that. Dash A authentication protocol, which is SHA. And I'm going to confirm that. I think I still have it selected, I guess. Okay, so that is this. See, authentication protocol is SHA. Remember my switch? 
M2 is what? Authentication protocol is SHA. All right. Next, you need to specify the passphrase. Now, passphrase is just the use the uh, password, and that's going to be dash capital A. And the password, in my case, was this. All right. Take note in Linux um, systems, um, password needs to be up to eight characters. All right. So, what's the next thing I need to do then? Um, I'm going to put space. Uh, next thing I need to do is well, is specify the engine. I don't need to do that. Uh, this is not required. This is not required. You can do it, but you, it's not required. Next, I need to specify that I'm using uh, authentication and um, and encryption. <laughs> I, almost, I was saying privacy. It was actual authentication and, and encryption, which encryption provides you privacy anyway. So that's dash L and I'm going to specify or capital P R I V and verify that I got this right. Take note everything is um everything needs to it needs to match um it's case sensitive so if I'm doing all the authentication without encryption it will be auth no priv or no priv if I'm not doing any, that's no authentication, no encryption, it will be no auth, no private. So, but I wonder, no who want to run SNMP version 3. Well, maybe for debug purposes, but if you're going to run 3, just, just do it, go all the way. All right, so I've specified dash L switch. Do I need a dash N context name? I don't need it. I actually don't need it. It's just a label, but I don't need it because I didn't even configure it on my switch. Um, now, but I do have a username configured, which is M2. That'll be dash, oops, should have left space there. Dash M2 is my username space. What next? Um, I need to specify the protocol, the encryption protocol I'm using. I'm using AES, remember? M2, privacy protocol, AES128. Don't bother about 128. Um, the Linux machine is going to try all the versions it, it, it has available. Just need to specify that it's AES. So that's dash X A E S. Um, what's next? What's cooking? <laughs> all right. Uh, is to specify the passphrase or the cipher block block key. All right. So that's what's going to be used to. Um, have like um, engage in block encryption um, so that's capital X let's just take notes capital X and then I type in the password to for that that is pretty much the same I, I kept it same just to keep me sane all right, <laughs> all right. now finally um, how about the boots and time no I don't need to configure that so basically that's what it is that's all it takes and uh, what I have to do next is just to specify the output switch okay I type slash capital oh, capital O and uh, I specify that I want it to be in readable format and I want the OIDs in readable format also all right so take note capital O T F and that is here capital O for outputs F print full OIDs and T capital T in human readable hex all right cool let's go on and see what else we can do well that won't work because it's SNMP get we need to specify the exact OID but before we go there we need to also specify the IP address of the switch you can see that this looks exactly like the version one that we ran earlier. Now, let me just quickly get the one for, um, I think it's system descript. Um, I'm gonna do something. System here, dot description. Descript, uh, uh, let's quickly go back up and check what I used. Uh, the OID in question is sys description dot zero. So I type system dot sys descript 
dot zero. So that's specifying the exact OID I want to get. And what happens? Voila! Version three still runs. You can see. So that's that's actually how your version three runs. So please take the when you're running it, type the SNMP get or SNMP walk and just type dash dash with help. That'll give you all the switches you're meant to use. And you can just follow the instruction and type in the information you got. And voila, you're in business. All right. So I hope this video was educative and you find it useful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to get back to me. And at this point, I have to say, live long and prosper. Woohoo!